coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. This is really kind of strange because it's not dark out. <laughs> like, it's been so dark for so long, I'm almost relieved that we have some daylight. Little little, without realizing it. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, some people have been saying really to pay attention to what's happening on the TVs. Um, with the Twilight Zone show, and then where you see yourself. Uh, those things just make me feel crazy. So, obviously, I'm trying to catch as much as I can there, but I have a feeling, and I might be wrong, don't say anything, but I have a feeling that I'm going to get to the end of this and be like, it's. it might be one of those, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be... Oh my god, that's crazy. Or it's gonna be... Uh... Is it quoi? It's like, what? It's, I don't know what's gonna happen, but... I thought maybe there might be a note around here for some reason, but... That doesn't appear to be the case. Let's keep cruising. Whoa, whoa. Anything in there? Come on, truck, you can do this. Push it. a little bit of Grand Theft Auto lately, and I gotta remember that this is not that. <laughs> so, I have to be a little bit careful with my vehicle. I don't know if I can damage it to the point of no return anyways, but... Was there a car at this thing last time I was here? We're backtracking anyway, so I don't think there would be anything that I haven't already found. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Well. Oh, okay. Why not? What does this say? While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. And I believe it was Volcano that caused uh, Cauldron Lake to like... There was like a volcano underneath the lake, I think. 1970 volcanic eruption, yeah, <laughs> below Cauldron Lake. While relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Hmm. 
It actually reminds me of what's happening with um, Steve Jobs' old house. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. And of course, it's nighttime. Wait! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! That would be so I had frustrating. To get to Mirror Peak. Can I not get out here? Like. Oh, Jesus! It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. What? Leave. Well, yeah, I want to leave the building. But, oh. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying before was that Steve Jobs' house has been declared like a historical landmark or something now. But one of his relatives still lives there. I don't know if it's his daughter or, I don't know, mother or something. Uh, but... Now, because it's a historical landmark, she can't do uh, renovations or anything without approval, which means, like, it'll never get approved. And they didn't have to run that by her or anything. It just was like, yep, it's happening. I just thought that was kind of crazy. I'd never heard of something like that happening before. And then that little blurb on the building reminded me of that. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen to us. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Some muse, yeah. Alright, we're gonna have some action here. Oh yeah! Oh, come on!
Okay, let's get moving. No more dilly dallying. I'm gonna make sure that everything is loaded here. Because in panic mode, things rarely go smooth. What the sh. Oh! Make sure nobody jumps me. Uh, what the hell? What is that? Oh no, I don't want any part of this. This seems good. Oh, good throw. the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Turn off the power. Okay, we can do this. So many of these barrels. Okay, this might be a good flashbang here. Yep. Let's move. We don't have any more flashbangs. We have a couple of flares. Now we have a flare gun. Yeah, about that. This, I might just beeline it here. Oh no. Oh! Oh damn it! So dead. Okay, well, that's when they all come at you like that, like it's not easy. Maybe I should use the, the flare gun. 
Does it have separate ammo? I think so. They're here! Oh yeah, they sure are. Maybe I can keep a little... Oh, that'll work. Okay. Whoa! Worth it. Get back. Oh, come on, dodge. Me the hell out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is this is not good. Those were footsteps, I'm pretty sure. Oh, frick! <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Collateral carnage. Don't even know what that is. Okay, I'm running low here, but I still have the shotgun. Oh, perfect. Come on, bullets. I'm so paranoid. Yep. That's great. I'm trying to hit this one. Follow, oh, thank God. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, uh -huh. it really touched him. Ah, uh, shivers. Where? What the hell was that?
No! What? It's like shorted out or something. Oh, flashbangs, thank you. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. <laughs> no, they're not. Like, somebody's been through this before. <laughs> okay, let's just check our area here for a second. There was a tip at one point that said you can take any of the vehicles that have their interior lights on, which I thought was kind of cool. It'd be great if I could, like, mount those lights and then drive that truck. I don't mind. These guys, I do mind. And the guys that throw. Hello. Okay, like, these guys, seriously? Many. I find it really weird that he was by himself. That's super rare. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry oh, stood behind what? me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? Raymond Chandler? <laughs> 